Don't get started. Don't come out here and interrupt me. It'll get ugly. All right, so we're ready to start. This is episode number 11. Steve says, we're going to get rolling. Obviously, I got to get my Herbalife drink, which I always got to kickstart. What we do, we have our awesome... Don't get started. Don't bring that Russian stuff over here. It'll get ugly really quick in here. You better just go do something else. Go. Anyway, all right, we're going to get started here. Episode number 11. Who would have thought we'd last that long? We got an awesome new backdrop here at the gym. We should be taking your pictures. We're going to start having a weekly contest at the gym. Who can take the craziest picture with this backdrop each week? And there'll be a little prize for that every week or every month or whatever. I just made it up just now, so we're going to have to figure out what we're going to do with it. We're going to start off today with the quote of the day is actually from Aristotle, who's an ancient Greek philosopher and scientist, if you didn't know it. I just looked this shit up. I don't know any of this stuff. I don't don't even barely know how to read. But anyway, he said, we are defined by what we do repeatedly. Therefore, excellence is a habit, not an act. And that just basically goes right along with everything that we do in this gym, the way that we train, the way that we eat, the way that we live, the way that we just operate in everything we do. So we're just going to start off real quick, just reviewing, going over the six-week challenge that's coming up six week. What you know, as you probably know, as you've probably seen, if you have Facebook, you might have seen me or some of our, you know, before and after pictures on Facebook in the last week or two, talking about our upcoming six-week weight loss body transformation challenge. It starts May 8th. This is Rockland County's longest-running, most effective weight loss contest, weight loss challenge with never-ending real people, real results, in the real freaking world. That's what this, what's going on in this challenge. I've personally created this program down to the last detail to ensure there's maximum effectiveness, results, fun, experience, and overall experience. The Peak Physique Weight Loss System is a carefully designed program. It's a well-oiled machine, bigger than any of us, bigger than me, than just, you know, this, this whole gym. When you walk in this gym, that is, a, that is a being in itself. That is what's gonna help you lose weight and help you get results, is the way that this whole system is designed. It is a well-oiled machine. I put the pieces into place so I can promise you and guarantee your success if you just follow the steps that we put into place in this program. There's no other system or program, certainly definitely not in Rockland County, that will burn the fat, build the lean muscle, and get you in the best shape of your life, guaranteed. Our years of results and body transformations is unmatched and undeniable in the area and in the the freaking world, really. Leading up to the start of the challenge, we have a weekend of activities that are scheduled. Um, every weekend, you know, the weekend is coming up, something new for you. Every weekend we have something new for you guys, right? A few weeks, last couple weeks just alone, we had the 24-hour workout a couple weeks ago. Then we had the Nanuet Crystal Hill Health Fair. We had the Spring Valley High School Health Fair, the Veterans Job Fair. We did a lunch and learn in that time at a couple different businesses. We had our first meeting for the Game Changer program, and now we have the start of the six-week challenge, which is going to start with a Saturday, Sunday, and a Monday, building up to the actual start. I know we don't stop. We don't stop. We'll never stop here. We'll always be doing more over the top, nonstop attack as you know, to help as many people as possible in our sector, which is this area, Rockland County. That's my mission, my purpose, my, my reason for existing. That is my fucking why, as you all already know that. That is why I'm always coming up with new ideas. This is why I'm always traveling the country and traveling the freaking world to learn from experts in all areas and all different cultures to always bring back and give all of you the greatest experience, more than you could have ever imagined or expected when you just came to sign up at a gym thinking you're just coming to work out. I can't stand, I can't stand those fucking know-it-all types that think they have all the answers in their, in their 20-something years of massive, you know, vast life experience, 20 years on this planet, 20-something years on this planet. You know, that type of ego gets you nowhere and certainly gets you no respect, no admiration, no, no followers, no one, no one that's going to believe in you. You know, so drop the fucking egos, first of all. Be a little more open-minded. Take some people's advice who've been there and done that, you know, since you were shitting your diapers, shitting yourself in your diapers, and have always, you know, ha- have an always learning mentality. That's the way I look at it every single day. I'm always trying to learn something new. I mean, sure, I definitely consider myself an expert and a leader, and, and I'm very confident in most of what I do, but I'm always learning in every single experience and every interaction in my life. I learn something new every fucking day. Leaders grow. They are not fucking made. So... Drop the know-it-all fucking ego and, or, you know, it's going gonna, it's gonna to eventually evident, it's going to lead, you know, lead to your demise. I try to learn something from everyone I meet. I strive to meet people who have, have more knowledge and experience than I do so I can gain, you know, learn something, gain some insight 
It's like that white belt mentality that a martial artist should have. No matter what level you are in a martial arts, in jujitsu or whatever, you should always be thinking. You're always going to learn something new from everyone you come across. So the same, the same people out there, like, stop being fucking jealous and always trying to be a know-it-all, always trying to prove someone wrong. It will get you nowhere. You know, I get criticized all the time from, from, from the know-it-alls. If you, if you know so much, then show me. Fucking show me. I would love to learn something new, something better that I could learn from and I can, you know, improve my own experience on this earth from. If you could provide that, I would love to have words with you. If not, then just shut the fuck up. Also, just stop being gossiping little, little bitches and, and speak all your, your all-knowing words to share your great wisdom with the public. Not, nothing worse than an undercover know-it-all. That's even worse, an undercover know-it-all. Always talking about their expertise, how they're better than anyone else. They know more than anyone else, how they are the expert in whatever the fuck they're yapping about. But when it comes to applying it, when it comes to sharing it, teaching it, putting your masterful experience on display, you're nowhere to be found. Just a lot of ego talk. At least speak up. If, if, it's not, you know, if it's not the best plan or idea or course of action, that's fine. But don't be a little babbling, gossiping little, little fucking bitch. That's first of all. I don't even remember what I was talking about. I just started going on that. I don't even know what I was talking about. Anyway, if you're waiting for me to stop or even show signs of slowing down in, in what we're doing every week, we're always coming up with something new here at People's Zeke. You're going to be waiting for a long fucking time. You're going to be waiting a long time, like, like forever, basically, because it's not happening. I'm fueled by all of you. I'm fueled by my why, which is all of you, which is those little freak kids of mine. I'm fueled by my fucking enemies. That's what gets me up in the morning. I wake up in the morning, my feet hit the ground in my cave. I think about what do I have to do to give my kids a better life and what do I have to do to destroy the fucking enemy? The enemy would love to see me die, see me fall in a puddle of my own blood to see me fail or slow down. They would even love to see me just miss one step and stumble. But you know what? It's not happening. And if I did fall or if I did fucking stumble, guess what? I'm going to get up and I'm going to come back with a fucking wrath of fury like never seen before. The enemy can't, they can't keep up with us. They will be crushed into obscurity. I don't even know what, what I was talking about. What have I been talking about? I don't even remember. You got me all fucking worked up already. We just started and you guys got me all worked up already, all freaking fired up. Or maybe it's the Herbalife drink. That damn green tea should get you all pumped up. All right, I was talking about the weekend and what we have going on every weekend. Right. So the six-week challenge starts Monday. May 8th, Saturday, May 6th, 11.45 and 3.15 p.m. is our orientation for this six-week challenge, but also a seminar on how to eat for weight loss and keep it off for life. I will personally teach you exactly how you were meant to eat and what you need to be doing to lose weight and transform your freaking body to change your life the way you deserve, the way you need, the way you need it to hit your goals. We call it just, it's simple. There's no diet. There's no meal plan. We're actually going to get into meal plans in a second, but it's it's called just educational eating. There's no freaking meal plans. This, this, what we do here is far beyond the meal plan, just teaching you what you need to be doing, what you need to eat. Don't be standing hovering over my shoulder, please. Hey, we are getting interrupted by the, 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 the Ruskies. Ruskies were attacking. The enemy was here. The enemy's around you. Anyway, there's no meal plans. This is far above and beyond any meal, any meal plan out there. We're going to go over that in a few minutes. Back to my man, Aristotle. He says, the roots of education are bitter, but the fruit is sweet. So basically what he's saying is fucking poor you. You have to suffer. You can't eat that delicious cheesecake anymore. You know, your education is this educational eating I'm talking about. Although you act like the victim when you're dieting or on a meal plan, you know, save, save that sob story for someone else. This is the way you're meant to eat. Like, oh man, I'm on a low carb day and this and that. Motherfucker, you're on the day you should have been doing every day every day should have been that day not just today act like someone's gonna feel bad for you because you have one day that you had some fucking discipline to eat right you know save that shit for someone else that's the way you're meant to eat that's the way it's supposed to be so the process of learning and doing stuff sometimes it might feel laborious or something but it's gonna be worth it it's gonna be in the end when you go to the beach and you you take off your freaking clothes on those beaches you freaks then you're going to see why it's all worth it. And you're going to be like, yep, I'm glad I did that shit. I'm glad I had some freaking discipline all year, all year long. And in that six-week weight loss challenge. So the educational weekend activities will continue on Sunday, May 7th. We're doing a grocery store tour walkthrough. I will take you aisle by fucking aisle in the grocery store, teaching you exactly how to shop, how to shop for weight loss and how to pretty much read the labels, how to shop for weight loss and transformation goals, how to teach you exactly what to look for and what to avoid in that, that nutritional fucking death trap called the grocery store. It is a trap in there. Everything in that store is trap 
to get you to buy this unhealthy stuff, this shit you don't need. We're gonna go over all that. I call it shopping for abs, and I'll teach you exactly how to do that. It's, it's very simple war strategies, basically. Someone just walked in, anyway. Then the weight loss challenge starts Monday, May 8th. It's gonna be a huge party at the end of the six week challenge where we announce the winners and we just have a party, get wasted, get trashed, all that good stuff. The date of that is, it's already set, whatever the sixth Saturday is after the challenge. I think it's like June 17th, somewhere around there, whatever that Saturday is around there. One of the winners of the six week challenge, there's gonna be a couple winners. One will be who lost the largest percentage of body weight. One will be the best visual transformation. And one of the winners is going to win six months of free boot camp and boxing classes. Obviously here. So on to the meal plans we were talking about. I get asked so many times a week. People call up on the phone. They're asking about the program, about what we do and this and that, and, and about losing weight and whatever else. And I'm asked several times a week, do you supply us with meal plans for your members? Because I really need a meal plan. Okay, listen. You don't need a fucking meal plan. Meal plans basically are a myth, which brings me to the next Aristotle quote. This guy is just like, he must have worked at a gym or some shit. He said, I count him braver who overcomes his desires than him who conquers his enemies for the hardest victory is over self. So conquering, taking care of yourself is all that matters. That's, that's, that, that, is, that is what we talk about in here all the time, that mindset about worrying about your own shit, taking care of yourself and overcoming the, the desires and all that shit, you're, the food you're eating. You know, In other words, take control of your freaking life, put down the fucking brownie and execute what we call here at Peak Physique, your nutritional disciplines. We have our educational eating, our nutritional discipline, and we know we need our freaking laser beam focus on both of those. So meal plans, everyone wants a fucking meal plan. Guess what? 90% of those meal plans are bullshit. They're manufactured, copy and paste up the freaking internet by some dietitian or some nutritionist or some, some, some quacked out doctor of something, some quacked out professional or so-called professional you know, a few years ago, I had a couple of training clients. They were both going to the same nutritionist. They both came to me. They were both complete different. One's a man, one's a woman, older, younger, complete different goals or, or, or pretty similar. No, I mean, pretty different goals overall. They come in with their meal plans. They both happen to have the same nutrition in, nutritionist here, the, the top of whoever was supposed to be the nutritionist here in Rockland County. And they come in with their meal plans. They both had the exact same photocopied, copy and pasted meal plan. If you have a meal plan out there that, that someone gave you, let me guess what's on it. Uh, probably rice cakes and some fucking peanut butter, right? And apple, an apple a fucking day keeps the doctor away, right? Yeah, bullshit. And it probably has, you know, choose one of the above. One serving of chicken, one serving of beef, one serving of fish with a cup of brown rice or quinoa, quinoa or whatever the hell that shit is called. Have two egg whites with one whole egg with some avocado for those healthy fats. Sure, you need some fat in your diet, obviously, but this whole healthy fat thing that you hear about all the time, this whole healthy fat, the healthy fat craze it's called, you know, this is, oh, but that's a healthy fat. I can have that because the healthy fat, right? That shit is out of fucking control. People who are 20 and 50 and 100 pounds overweight debating, de debating, well, you know, it's healthy fat. Cheese has protein, right? Cheese is a protein source. All that cool internet freaking mumbo jumbo bullshit that you see on freaking YouTube and all those YouTube terminology and all that crap. Healthy fat, sure, but... If you live on 50% of your diet on healthy fats, guess what? You're gonna walk around being a real healthy fat person. If that's your goal, then you're on the right path. I don't know about you, but I would rather walk around being a healthy lean person. Maybe I don't walk around being a mentally healthy fucking person, but at least I'll be fairly lean and healthy when I'm walking around being not mentally healthy. But if you're eating burgers and bacon and bread and brown rice every day, and you're not a freaking bodybuilder, you're, you're, you're basically just a person who lacks discipline and finds excuses to eat that crap that you can't stay away from. If you think you're building muscle like that, or, or you know, you're most likely mistaken because if you eat like a bodybuilder from one of those magazines, they're like 250 to 300 pounds before they cut weight. They're lifting weights for like three, four, five, six hours a freaking day. They're sticking a large shiny needle in their fucking ass crack. You know, and I doubt you're doing any of that shit. I hope you're not doing any of that shit. You know, you're just becoming one of those healthy fat people or maybe an unhealthy fat person if you're eating shit like that and just perpetrating that you're just, yo, I go to the gym, I'm, I'm just, I'm, you know, I'm bulking up, I'm, I'm building muscle, this is my muscle building routine, my muscle building diet with the burgers and the bacon and all this other bullshit, you know? I've always learned to li li learn to, from my experiences in life. That's the way I like to just live that way. Like I said last week, you will never have a loss or failure in life 
only victories if you just learn from everything and improve on everything that you do and, and take a lesson, learn a lesson from everything you never lost. You can never lose. You know, you can, you know, the last two times that I ate like that, the, that all that bullshit I'm just mentioning that you might think is healthy, which is really not. It's not going to help you get lean or in shape or fit or abs or whatever. Last two times I ate like that was in jail. And then again, when I was in the Marine Corps boot camp. In jail, you see guys eating like that all the time. And what are they doing in there? They come out there all bulked up and this and that. They're fed, they're fed real well. They're getting steak and rice and, and whole milk and bread and corn, potatoes, crackers, peanut butter and jelly. These motherfuckers are eating better than half to have the public. And guess who's paying for it? You and me, us suckers. But anyway, that's besides the point. That's a whole nother story. So if you're one of those in, in a so-called bulking phase, then go to fucking jail. If you're not bulking, then you need to avoid those kinds of foods. You like the live presentation here, don't you? You're always here for it. Anyway, the other time I ate like that was in Marine Corps boot camp. Eerily similar nutrition in the government meal plan in both places, the Marine Corps boot camp and jail. I'm just saying, I don't know. I guess they have the same person that delivers this shit to them or something. It was like the exact same food. Potatoes all rotten and all that shit. Potatoes all rotten. Anyway, we're running all day. And in 13 and a half weeks, in Marine Corps boot camp, I gained 17 freaking pounds. Everyone else was dropping weight because they were used to eating like those, you know, horrible. And then coming here, coming to boot camp and just doing all this exercise and then limiting it to three meals a day compared to their, you know, thousands and thousands of calories they were having. Everyone else was dropping 20, 30 pounds. I freaking gained weight. I gained 17 pounds in 13 and a half weeks. I was eating like a king. I was working out every day, shooting weapons, blowing shit up, getting paid every two weeks. I was in fucking heaven, but I still gained weight. I went there a very skinny and in fairly decent shape. You know, I was training myself for a few months before shipping out just to prepare. So I really don't need to lose any weight. So basically that showed me no matter how hard you train, if you're eating off of our no list that we've created, you know, we have our yes list and our no list here at Peak Physique. If you're eating off the no list, no matter how hard you train, you know, you can't out train that bad diet. Like you probably heard before. If you're making, if you're, if you're mixing in the no foods once in a while, that would be fine if you're already at your goal. But if, if you regularly have them every meal on a regular basis, you can't run enough fucking miles to burn that off. Even if you're at, at your ultimate goal, you will still need to practice some nutritional discipline if you want to keep those results and those precious fucking abs that you worked so hard to get. And this was when I was 19. Imagine now when I'm all the way up there, all old, like I'm 25 years old now. Once, once you see those abs... You know, it's hard work just to keep them visible. People don't think that it is. Once you get them, it's, it's just as hard to keep them as it was to get them. You know, and, and it doesn't take much to make them get swallowed up again by layers of fucking fat. So back, back to the meal plan. I don't, I don't know the statistic, but I guarantee compliance on these little meal plans that everyone wants, the precious meal plan, I guarantee it's under 25%. Probably even much lower, really. So basically, you aren't going to follow it. Certainly not long term, you're not going to follow that meal plan. It's just not going to happen. That's just not the way it goes. But if you know, you're not going to follow it, but you're not going to follow it. It's, it's basically a flawed system. You most likely won't follow it like most people don't. And it's also usually a generic printout, not really specific for you or your goals. Anyway, you know, you just need healthy whole foods, higher protein, low to moderate carbs, low fat, eat from the yes list and stay away from the no list and avoid the fuck no list at all costs. One second, one second. Better clean that up and then fix that. Now. Anyway, little technical difficulties on our system over here. Anyways, yes list, no list, F no list, higher protein, low to moderate carbs, low fat. Don't think just because you have like zero carbs in your plan, like two grams of carbs a day, you're like, oh, that's awesome, I did great. That doesn't necessarily mean you did great. That means you might be just using up some, some hard-earned protein and muscle for energy. Anyway, we're going to go much further detail into that on the How to Eat for Weight Loss seminar during the Weight Loss Challenge Orientation seminars this Saturday. So, you know, this, this is the first Tuesday of the month right now. So we have our PFT. That's one-minute sets with exactly two-minute breaks in between on the clock. So basically, if you were doing modifications for your exercises... However you might have done the modifications last time, make sure you do the exact same modifications for your physical, physical fitness test, your PFT, this time. Make sure you do it exactly the same way to keep the data consistent. If you're advancing to a different, harder modification from the last time, this will start an entire new standard for you. So don't, 
don't exactly compare the, the data and your numbers to last month if you're starting a newer, harder variation. You know, for example, the push-up. If last month you were doing it going only halfway down because that's what you could do, and you got a number of whatever, say 20 in the minute, is this month you're like, okay, I got stronger. I'm gonna go all the way down and chuck my chest to the floor. You're probably not gonna get 20 this time, so just make sure your data is consistent. So we know our exercises are the push-ups, the squat thrusts, the crawl outs, and the plank walks. So that's it for the PFT coming up today, first Tuesday of every month. So we're on to the case study for this month, which is Warner Camacho. I'm gonna put, his, his twin brother was last week's case study, he is this week's case study, and I'm gonna put one of their pictures up, because I don't know who the hell is who. One of their pictures is gonna get posted up of their before and afters, they both have before and afters, they both lost over like 50 pounds in five, maybe less than six months, I think like five months, maybe coming up on six months now. So basically he said the reason why he started training, basically one of the reasons why he started this weight loss journey was because every day he was feeling sluggish. He started getting sharp, sharp heart pains and he got worried. He thought at times his heart was just gonna stop and he was just gonna freaking drop dead. So he ended up going to the doctors, he got his heart checked, he ran some tests, they said his heart was fine but they said that he was way overweight and he needed to drop a lot of weight and needed to do it fast before he does start having some heart problems, blood sugar problems, cholesterol problems, you know, all that stuff. And he was the heaviest he's ever been at 255 pounds. It was a rude awakening for him, but the next, by, the, by the next day after the doctor told him this, he was motivated to start grinding it out, working it out, eating healthy, you know, trying to start training twice a day, going to the gym in the morning, and then again in the night, busting his freaking ass, you know, but he got to the point where it was just becoming the same thing, the results weren't coming as fast as he wanted to, for the amount of work he was putting in, the amount of discipline he had, so at one point he needed an extra push to something to the next level. So instead of just going to the regular boring gym, he was on Facebook, he saw a Peak Physique ad or a post or something on Facebook, I don't know who's ever seen one of those, they're not on there that much. He saw the, the Peak Physique on Facebook, he read about it and saw what the facility, facility was like, he saw a lot of the testimonials and the reviews, which are all top notch, hundreds of them. So he told his brother, he said we need to go check this out, and you know, he called up right away, he got in with a Russian the next day in a consultation. Basically, they sat down. They, they said that he learned so much in that like one hour consultation. Him and his brother looked at each other and they said, this is it. We're gonna, this is the place we need to be to reach our goals, to get to where we need to be, to go to that next level, to get to where we need to be. He really never did a real foot fitness program before, just playing sports all his life from the seventh grade all the way through to college. You know, basically picking up some workouts he learned in football practice or whatever, things that weren't really conducive to him being an adult, trying to lose weight, get in shape, just stay healthy and live a healthy life. You know, he had, he had better, knew he was going to have better results with somebody to push him during the workouts versus doing them on his own. And that's why he joined Peak Physique for the trainers that now he sees are going to push him to his limit and guide him on what he needs to eat. When he started at Peak Physique, he was weighing 255 pounds and in five months he lost 50 pounds. That goes for both of them. Last week was his brother and him, he said pretty much exact same numbers or very similar numbers. In the first month, he did a lot of times try, trying to come twice a day, which is obviously hard. And he started slowly bringing it down to once a day as he started getting a little closer to his goals just so he didn't get to overtraining. He comes in to like 8, 15, usually 8.15 training sessions. He said if someone's in the same situation as him becoming an adult, there, Warner, I'm telling your whole life story. You just joined us. Talk about how you weighed 250 pounds, you lost... 255 pounds and lost 50 in five months. And I'm gonna post your brother's picture because I posted your freaking picture last week. So you're not getting the picture posted this week. Or I probably will because I don't even know who which is who. We got like five pictures. So I'll probably post you again. Who knows? Maybe I'll just post you both to be even. Flip a coin. He said if someone's in the same situation as him, he would point them in the right direction to lose weight and eat healthy. This is the place to be. There's a bunch of motivated freak, freaks over here, hardworking trainers, best in the county. Fuck that, I'll add in for him, best in the world. Forget the county, this county's a little small. And people that really do care about you, push you to reach your goals, and won't give up until you accomplish your goal. And then even after that, gonna make sure you maintain it and then take it to the next level and just keep working hard. He says, Stephen and Ever are always there to ask questions, we're always traveling all over the place to learn and create new ideas to help everyone reach their weight loss goals. People always guess, ask him how much it is to join over there at Peak Physique. I heard they're the best around, what does it cost to join? He tells them, you know, he tells him about whatever it costs or whatever, whatever program he's on. They tell him he's crazy for paying that much. But you know what? He says it's worth every penny with the results, the knowledge, the healthy eating, the support. And the trainer's always calling him, texting him, checking on him, making sure he's doing the things he needs to be doing, keeping up to date on the VIP Facebook page. He would just tell him to step into that place, step out of your comfort zone, walk in, and you look at all those pictures on the walls, all those crazy transformations. It's like night and day. 
and you don't believe it. You think that, that, that the pictures are freaking photoshopped, he said. But then you go in the classes, you see those same people that you might have even seen on the streets five, six months ago, and you can't even recognize them. And if they could do it, why can't he do it? Why can't his twin brother do it? It just shows that if you're putting your mind to it and effort in the gym, that you'll get your goal. Remember, peak is the tool to success, but now it's up to you to finish it and make it also happen. And he said, also, we are number one. Probably talking about him and his brother, or just the, the gym in general, but they all are number one. So after these results, he says life has changed like crazy. He feels more confident, has tons more energy. At his job, people are always noticing he changed and he's more active, more alive, more energized, more focused. Probably, I guarantee, doing better numbers at work and selling more freaking cars because he has more energy and bouncing all over the place and has a better positive mindset, not holding him back, not sluggish and lethargic and just sitting there eating fucking Cheetos, crumbling down onto his belly. But he didn't write that part. I added that part in for him. I'm sure he would have thought the same thing. He said it just feels good that people have, have you know, not seen him in a while telling him, man, you look great, and people asking, how do you do it? He said for a second it gets annoying when people say, how would you do it? They probably think you did, like some kind of, they did some kind of surgery or something or some secret weight loss pill or something. But then he stops and thinks and tells himself all he's doing is potentially you know, trying to motivate someone and try to help someone else lose weight and go down the same path he did to get to where he is now and help them take care of themselves you know, and change their lives. Life is a struggle, and finding time is also a struggle, and he used to say that all the time. But when he joined Peak, he was motivated to lose weight because he was scared for his own health. You find a way to make it a gym. You will find a way to make it happen. With, with all your excuses you have, oh, it's, it's too expensive, I don't have time, whatever, all this other bull crap. You will find a way, cut down on these shitty foods in your life, and in all areas, how bad you really want it. And, and that's always, he said, obviously, is the saying we use all the time is what he finished with was no excuses. So next, to finish off, we have, if there's any questions, I don't know if you guys posted any. Is there still space in the six-week challenge? Yes, you can still do it. I just put the link here right in this same post. You could check in there for new members only. Make sure if you are a new member. 25 years old. Yes, I am 25 years old. <laughs> what are you laughing at? I was talking about my metabolism when I was 19 and how it's much harder now that I'm 25 years old. People don't believe me I'm 25. I feel 25, I feel 21, I act 12, but that's besides the point. All right, if there's any questions, put them in there. The Whale Sounds link is in there, but we have Client of the Month to list. Too bad it's not you and you're here, maybe next month. I don't see you're posting much on the VIP group. I'm trying to avoid Facebook in general. So do I, except for the VIP group. Make a fake account and put it on there. Okay. Just for that. Really? Yes, that's what we want. There's half those people on there don't exist. You don't notice there's like some celebrity names on there? They make, faith, they make an account because it's just for that. Because you should be on there because you'll miss out on a lot. Life becoming client of the month. <laughs> so, client of the month is, first of all, I'll tell you what the client of the month gets. We started in December. It goes 12 months. So, obviously, there'll be 12 clients of the month. You get a, they get a big prize for being a winning client of the month. But that puts them in the running for then client of the year at our December holiday party. Some crazy party we're going to have during Christmas time in December where we're going to announce the client of the year who is going to win a free year at Peak Physique, a free year. That's like a couple thousand dollars worth a free year. So you have to win the client of the month to be eligible for the client of the year. This month's client of the month, let's see if he's even watching. It's a he, I just gave you a hint. He's not watching. Camacho Brothers, you would be in the running, but we need some more activity in that Facebook group. We need some foot fit clients tracking. That's what, judge, that's what this goes off of. Your check-ins on Facebook. You're posting on, on the VIP page. You're posting on your personal page. You're posting on our page. You're tracking of your, your weight and your, on, fit, on our fit clients app, which tracks your progress. That is what gets it. And then you're just going above and beyond and doing stuff like the winner does, who is Brian Cleary who is a freak, he's posting every day, he's always motivating, he's in here every morning, freaking getting people pumped up with his little crew at usually 9.15, whenever else he comes in. He can't make it to the gym, he's at work doing an overnight shift at a bar, doing freaking push-ups in the middle of the floor at a bar just to stay active and working out, still eating healthy, he's dropped, I don't even know, I think up to 25 pounds now, or 20 pounds, 25 pounds in a, in a short amount of time. So Brian Cleary is the client of the month. We have one fan in person watching. We, I don't know who's hit, hit more rock bottom. Me that has only one fan live in person or you who's the only fucking fan? Anyway. Who's that? Yes, I am what? Just seems any other questions here. 
You thought it was you? You better get your shit together if you want it to be you. So, so far we've had client a month, December, January, February, March, and he was April. So there's been five so far. So there are seven more chances to win client of the month. So that means a huge party in December, right? There's a huge party every three months. They're all huge, huge parties. I missed the last. Yeah, you did. You missed the last two. You weren't here. I don't even know you were here. The, the Halloween one? Oh, no, I wasn't here. Huh? There you go. Yes, huge party in December. Every party is always huge than the last, so by then it's going to be a huge fucking party. Anyway, Brian Cleary is a client of the month. If you have any questions, put them in the post. There's a link there for the weight loss challenge. We've got to start getting ready for the 415 class, and we are done.